The mindset is one about trying to figure out what solution can they provide to a problem that they have seen that nobody else has resolved, or that they figured out a better solution to. And to the extent that they are creating something that doesn't exist, then they're providing a new solution to something that maybe people didn't even know was a problem. But because they saw an opportunity there, they created this solution that now has uh, created interest in people and are, are, um, is able to create either a product or a service that will grow a company. For myself, a reason for feeling stuck is because my creative and my mind is a lot faster than the delivery and the tools that I have at hand. So that's a feeling for me being stuck. The other feeling of being stuck is that when, you know, the, the passion thing, when you love something so much, it becomes part of you. And so, you know, because you're not, we're human. And so if you are attached to something and it's not delivering the results you want when you want it, and that's, this is where the, the fear and, and, you know, the failure things come in, if you can't get out of that, what, what I suggest is that you have um, a community of resources, and by resources I mean people that will get you out of that situation. I think for us what we see as the reason, the primary reason for business failure is that there wasn't anything particularly <coughs> different about that business. It was one of many types of businesses. I mean, we often see women who are looking to start retail operations, and when you ask them what's their competitive advantage, what's their distinction, they really don't have one. They, don't really, they just think that, well, I'm, I'm only going to buy these types of clothes. In this type of economy, the way the world has evolved, that's not sufficient. So understanding how to make yourself stand out, how to be different, is your number one goal for success as an entrepreneur, figuring that out. It's diligence, it's diligence, it's your work ethic, it's the respect, it's, it's traveling with the times, changing with the times. And yes, I, I thank you for saying that, I'm learning from you right here. Um, that your current customers are the, the, your loyalists, and those are the ones that will always, always network your, your message and, and, that, and how strong it is, and those are your fans, and that's your audience. And so I agree with this completely, what you just said. Um, it's, it's important to notice what's going on around you, you know, what's going on around you and why. What we find is that the more that you bring in people who, who share different experiences and different backgrounds into your planning process, your brainstorming process, the better you're going to have, uh, the better your outcome because you will have a richer source of ideas and more creativity because people are coming in from different perspectives. And that's what I think um, helps you figure out what's going to make you create something distinctive because you're taking in so many different perspectives. If everybody that you talk to shares your same background and your same experiences, then the ideas are going to be similar as well. So in order to have that creative burst, you need to bring in people who have a different perspective than you so that you can be exposed to other things and have the ability to actually pull together things in a different way.